I'm drugstore hauling for you guys today, and I kind of feel like 65% of it is all like highlighter type products. The drugstore has been killing it coming out with highlighter products, and I'm just living for it. And then I had my mom, she made it to town, and so I asked her to please stop at CVS to see if they could, if she could find the new uh, Wet n Wild Spring Collection because they had these new heart highlighters. I was seeing them all over Instagram and so I knew they were going to be a popular item but at first she said she didn't find them and then I sent her a picture and she said she came around the corner of one of the aisles or whatever and spotted the display and it was a full display so I was able to get all the things that I wanted. And then Ulta recently sent out a 20% off coupon. I don't know if it was for plat just platinum members or not but they also had um, a lot of buy. I think it was buy two get one freeze on some drugstore brands so I took advantage of that. I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild collection because it's just really given me all of the feels. <laughs> um, Wet n Wild can kind of be hit and miss sometimes but recently they've really been hitting it I feel like. There was a, t a period of maybe a year or so where they were just kind of diving but prior to that they were really really good and now I feel like they're getting really really good again. But um, let me show you the things that I got. Well. I had my mom pick up for me from that collection. Um, they came out with this Kabuki makeup brush and I had asked, asked her to only get me one but she she grabbed two of them. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. Initially I thought it was going to be like shaped like a heart but it's not. It's your standard Kabuki style brush. It's a super super soft synthetic. If you've tried any of their uh, pink and white brushes that they've come out recently, the fibers of that are pretty much the same. And I like these type of brushes for pouncing on uh, mineral foundations on my face because they, they usually splay out quite large and they're not super super dense so they don't put a ton of product in one spot and then she grabbed me one of three that are available of the mega glow cheek and lip tints and this is the one in kiss me if you can 34884 and it's the pinker version um this collection too is online but it was it was kind of strange because they had made it only to purchase you have to buy the whole entire collection instead of just pieces because i was I was looking at the, getting a couple more of the heart highlighters because I really like them. <laughs> anyway, back to the this uh, cheek and lip tint. I haven't tried this on my cheeks, but I did put it on as like a balm. And it's kind of a sheer uh, pinky balm. And then if you blend it out. Like, the way that it feels, it feels closer to a product that you'd put on your lips rather than your cheeks got a little bit of tack to it so it might be something you would want to set or either you want your uh, cheeks to have a real dewy look to it that would do this as well. I also had her grab me all three of the new trios that came out and I just used one of these for the first time today and it's the Hieroglyphic Heart palette which is this guy. That's what I have on my eyes today um, with the exception of the glitter that's like right there. That's one of the Stila uh, foiled uh, glitter shadows, those new ones. They're they're really amazing. Other than that, the color on my eye comes from this uh, Hieroglyphic Heart palette. And the color in there, they have pigmentation, but it's a soft type of a color. And that's kind of how I feel like they went on the eyes as well. I just used these three colors. So let me swatch Hieroglyphic Heart. The center shade right here is the one that's a matte shade. So I use this one in the crease, this one to buff it out. I put this guy underneath the lid and or underneath the brow and on top of the lid and that one's a shimmer. So there's one matte in this quad or trio. <laughs> so you can see they do have, you know, pretty decent pigmentation. I just love it because um, I just feel like the quality is so there for the amount of money that you pay for these. I think these are $2.99. You just you just can't beat it. The second one is called Heart and Heavy, and this is like plummies. Well, there's a plum, a pink, and a pearly. I think this got a tiny bit of a shift of pink in it, that the whiter cream shade. But all three of these ones are shimmer. No mattes in this quad. But I was gonna use this one, and then I went ahead and used the uh, the hieroglyphic one. But so that one is Heart and Heavy. And the last trio from the collection is called Will You Marina Me? <laughs> and it's kind of like got an aqua in there, so that's probably where the marina came from. But all three of these also have a shimmer or a sheen to them. So the only one that's got a matte in it is that hieroglyphic uh, heart, was it called? So that one is Will You Marina Me? So you can see they do have pigmentation to them, but they're a little bit more soft, which 
makes me think of spring. And the most exciting part of the entire collection, at least in my opinion, <laughs> are these Mega Glow highlighting powders. They came out with two of them. One is called the Sweetest Bling, which is the pink, and the other one is called Lilac to Reality. I haven't worn the Lilac to Reality just yet, um, but I have worn the Sweetest Bling. I think I wore it for the past three days. I'm, I don't have it on today. I've got a uh, different highlighter also from that's going to be in this haul. But um, these here, I did have to kind of push my brush into them a bit, but these are much nicer than the uh, highlighters that came out. They were in white packaging as well. They were kind of a knockoff of the Clay de Poe um, highlighters. They had like that geometric design in them. These are much better than that. <laughs> um, so that is what it looks like. You can see I've used it. There's a, you know, like a cream color in the middle and then the pink on the outside, but... If you can get your hands on these guys, again, I think these were $3.99. And I love it! <laughs> I'm so living for that right now. It's just so exciting to have a highlighter that's this pretty, so affordable, and at the drugstore. So, like, Wet n Wild, you can go ahead and, like, make a couple more shades, uh, continue to keep these ones, and just go ahead and throw them in the permanent line, because... <laughs> Why not, right? Anyway, I really love this. It's really shiny and it almost does give me that uh, baked jelly type of a uh, um, feel to it. But I think it's because there's uh, dimethicone is the second uh, ingredient in here that kind of gives it that more slick feel as opposed to being jelly. But if you buff it in the skin, it does have that same type of effect that I kind of get from like the Dior highlighter, Glowing Gardens one that I love so much. Um, I don't see tons of chunk like chunky particles in there once it's buffed into the skin. So I hope you guys can see that, but I'm going on and on. I just, I really love this. I think it's great. The other one is Lilac to Reality, and this one is a purple. The center has kind of got a silver white heart in the middle, and this one does pull quite purple. It's almost got like a blue iridescence to it as well, and I feel like I can see glitter particles in this purple one, and I can't really see glitter particles in the uh, the sweetest bling so let me go ahead and swatch this guy I wonder if can you see any glitter particle in there but so it's the middle oh, I just love this I was contemplating doing a real springy springy look today and going with like a purple or a lime green like highlight because I got that Lorac one from the spring collection and doing some pastels on but I went the other route and close up I do see that there are more apparent glitter particles in the lilac one than the pink one Now moving on to some Revolution products, I, I purchased quite a few. One, two of the products are from a, a Ulta haul a couple weeks ago. I think they were buy one, giving 50% off. And then the rest of them are from that. And the deal is still going on right now too. It's buy two, get one free on Makeup Revolution. So I purchased three of their new strobe highlighters. This is a, what they look like. There's two that I really, really like, and then one of them I'm just kind of like so-so about. So let me go ahead and swatch these. The first one is called Moon Glow Lights, and this one has got a pink shift to it. This here, the color and tone of this really reminds me of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Mood Light. That's what this reminds me of. I don't feel like it's super shiny. So if you like a more subtle um, sheen to the skin, you might really like this one. This one just kind of falls a little bit flat for me. Um, I mean, especially when I look at some of the stuff that I've been wearing now, and like those boom in your face highlighters that I've just been living for, this one does fall a little bit flat. But you can see that it does still give a nice sheen to the skin. And it does have a really silky feeling to it as well. So if you like a subtle like a soft, subtle highlight, you might really like this one. Um, my next uh, way that I'm going to use this is kind of like an hourglass ambient lighting powder because that's kind of what it reminds me of. Kind of just a light dusting all over the face, kind of how I use the Guerlain Meteorites. That's what I'm going to do with this guy next. The next one is the Strobe Highlighter in Holographic Lights. This one here has got the prettiest uh, lime green sheen to it. It's very shiny. It does give that highlighted effect to it. The, this one here isn't quite as smooth as the one that I just showed, but it's still pretty smooth. It has a really beautiful green undertone without being like too much, at least in my opinion. But you can really see it right there. I was wearing the heck out of this guy, uh, geez, for like a week straight with a cool 
like a cool eyeshadow, brown eyeshadows with a, a pretty green on the lid, like a lime green. It was in this highlighter. It was just super pretty look. But I actually wore this, as you can see, quite a bit. So that's what that guy looks like. And then the other one is Everglow Lights. And this one here, it's closer in texture to the first one that I showed. This is the type and tone of highlighter that I can put on certain parts of my face that really sculpt it. I mean, it will make those high points of my face really stick out. Um, it's light enough for fair skin tones. And again, it's a it's a creamy white. It's not as shiny as the uh, the holographic lights. Like I said, it's more along the, what is it, mood lights is what I call that. So moon glow. It's a little bit closer to that, but since moon glow isn't as bright or the color isn't as light as this whiter one, it doesn't lift on top of my cheekbones like this one does. But this highlighter here is the one that I have on the highlight points of my face. So like my chin a little bit right here above my brow and on top of my cheekbones. The highlighter that I topped over the Strobe Revolution one that's also on here, um, I just put it on top of that one for extra sheen on top of the cheekbones. And this is also by Revolution. And these are the Revolution Blushing Hearts Triple Baked Highlighter. So they're like a baked highlighting product. And this is what this looks like. So I just have this right there. And this one here is light enough for fair skin, so awesome there. And these ones do have a nice shine to them. They're not quite as matte as um, some of the others. Right there on my skin, it almost looks like it could pull a little bit too dark. So um, using that lighter strobe powder underneath and then this on top is probably how I'll continue to use it. I will say the packaging on these ones, it's very similar to the Too Faced like Hearts Flush Blush ones, cardboard packaging, but the insert on in here is plastic and all of mine, I don't know if it's because it was still cold and like the box is outside, but the glue came attached from, this one's broken. This is the one product that came broken in my whole order the other day, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys anyway. <laughs> but all of these have lifted off of the cardboard packaging like I can pull the whole thing out, which is kind of a bummer, but this one here is called... Uh, goddess of love this was one of the ones I was really excited about so it's kind of a bummer that it's uh, you know it's cracked or whatever but this one is lighter than that first one see so this one would be a little bit more ideal for a fair skin tone but so it was, it was like so bummed out that it was broke and then the last one of the hearts highlighters is the shade golden goddess this here is really gold I think this will look beautiful on a medium skin tone it does, so you can see that this is fair. See? Packaging. It's just a really thin plastic and it came unglued out of the box. <laughs> That's the only downfall of these. But the actual products are, are nice baked highlighter products. But So you can see that, that one does pull quite a bit of yellow. And I think it would look pretty on a, a deeper, warmer complexion than mine. So that one is called Golden Goddess right there. From that same line of triple baked products from Makeup Revolution, I purchased one of the bronzers. Um, this one is Hot Summer of Love. This is mega, mega shimmery. Um, this, I think, would be a beautiful highlighter on a deep skin tone. It's very, very shiny. Um, not my ideal for uh, bronzing, I guess, but I do think it would be a really pretty highlighter on a deeper skin tone. See, that is shiny. <laughs> I'm all about a little bit of a shiny bronzer, but this might be just a little bit overkill to bronze with. Um, but geez, I can really see this on a deeper skin tone looking really beautiful. So that one is Hot Summer of Love. And then I got two of the triple baked blushers. Uh, one is Candy Queen of Hearts. Again, all of these are detached from the cardboard. They're like all loose in here, but... You can see that they do look relatively similar in terms of like the style to the uh, um, Too Faced. Is this the one? Let me see. Yeah, this is the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks today as a blush color. Jeez, I think. Let me double check that. But that was that's one of the blushes, and it's called Candy Queen of Hearts. And then the other one is Peachy Keen Heart. And this is more of a neutral shade. This does have one of the strips. This one over here does have like gold micro glitters running through it. But this one is Peachy Keen Heart. You do get a lot of product with these two. It's 0.35 ounces. So it's a pretty neutral blush. 
And then I got one more Revolution product. This is the Vivid Baked Highlighter in Rose Gold Lights. This I got because I thought it'd be like a blush on me. And also it was one of those where I needed one more product because I was going to get it free. <laughs> so I threw it in my cart. And I do have these uh, Vivid Baked Highlighters, a couple of the other shades. And those are pretty. There's one or two, one of them that's light enough for fair skin. But um, they're a little bit more of a softer highlight. Uh, the Radiant Lights, and I, I can't remember what the other shades are. But I don't reach for them a ton. This one here is a little bit more stiff feeling than the other powders that I have in this same type of a format. It feels a little stiff and a little dry, but it's got pigmentation to it. So, did I tell you what that's called? Yeah, you can kind of see. It's got a glow to it for sure, but it does have a dryness factor. So that one's Rose, Rose Gold Lights. <laughs> this is the one that I have on my cheeks today. This is the one that I have on my cheeks. This is the shiniest out of the three blushes. This is the one in Peachy Pink Kisses. I thought that other one didn't look quite right. But this one is very shiny. Like this one here on a medium skin tone would probably, it could, medium deep, it could probably be a highlighter. But it's very shiny. So this is where the color on my cheeks is coming from. And I just mixed them all together. And then from the Ulta brand, I purchased this color correcting liquid concealer. And I purchased it in the shade pink. It looked very similar to the Urban Decay color correcting fluid in pink that I love and use like every day. I like to use these to mix with other concealers to make them pull a little bit more on the pink side of things. Um, and this is nice as well. It was $9. So it's like, what cheap is, is the other one's $18? can't remember if they're 18 or 20 but so it's cheaper you know almost half price uh, compared to the Urban Decay one and I've used this the same way that I use the Urban Decay color correcting fluid um, mixing it with other concealers this one here is very similar to the Urban Decay one it's just ever so slightly and I mean very very slight um, deeper than the Urban Decay one so just a tiny teeny tiny less brightening but um, I mean it's pretty close if you wanted to try the Urban Decay color correcting fluid in pink but you want a cheaper version definitely check this one out the formula is really nice as well it's nice and creamy it's thin see it's got a nice coverage to it so let me see I don't know if you guys will be able to read this but it's the Ulta brand and then a few weeks back I was able to make it to CVS and I did purchase two products from Milani one is one of their new baked blushes and this is in the shade 13 Rosa Romantica and it's a very soft blush shade like you in order to use it as a blush you'll probably need to have a pretty fair skin tone otherwise I think that this might suffice um, as a pretty highlighter on a lot of skin tones so for me it'd be a really really light shiny peach blush but I think this would be a really beautiful highlighter on a deeper skin. Also from Milani, I purchased the Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I got the shade in 01 Fair. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, hoping in, that it was going to be light enough for my skin tone. And it is too dark for what I like underneath my eyes. The consistency is very thin. Um, but it doesn't really cover that well underneath the eyes. Like when I used it, I, I felt like it was a little bit too sheer to brighten and cover underneath my eyes I guess so I'm, I'm actually going to take this one back to the store it's got like this little squishy um, tip on top with a hole in the middle so let me squeeze it out here it's it's pretty fluid so yeah it's just not it doesn't cover like I like and it doesn't have the brightness that I like for underneath my eyes so I'm going to take that one back I wish it I wish it was brighter and I wish it covered more. And then at Walmart, I spotted this new highlighter from Hard Candy. It's the Prismatic Highlighter. And it's one of the new products I was really excited because it does look like a white prismatic type of highlighter inside. Um, the product itself, though, is terrible. This is also going back to the store. You get a ton of product in there, but um, it's gritty. There's not any pigmentation to it. It, it just doesn't feel nice at all. Hopefully you can kind of see there. It's chunky. I just, I'm not feeling this like at all. I was pretty disappointed in it. Let me try to buff it. Now you can see it, you can see a dash of purple in there. 
that highlighter is just really dry and flaky. It's not cute. <laughs> um, I purchased two lipsticks from Maybelline. These were buy one get one half off, I believe, um, during one of my Ulta orders. Um, these are the they're they're called matte. They're matte lipsticks. This is one of those dimethicone type formulas. So if you've tried the Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick formula or the Tom Ford matte lipstick formula. These have a similar feel like that. And these are pretty much this type of formula with the dimethicone in it is all I'll ever usually wear in terms of a matte lipstick because I think that other stuff is just way too drying. These have a matte look and they feel comfortable on the lips. I've got shade 540 peach buff on my lips today with good old Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk uh, lip liner. So this one's got a little bit more of a pink tone to it. Again, this is the one that I have on my lips today. So that one is 540 Peach Buff. And I believe that there's like, I think there's like six or eight more shades in this line or this collection that came out as well. But this next one is 545 Beige Babe. This one's really nude. Um, if I was able to see, I ordered them online, but if I was able to see that, just how brown they were, well, it's not too bad. It's got enough peach in there. I haven't worn it yet, so I don't know what it looks like on, but it was a little bit more brown than I had anticipated it looking. So that's 545 Beige Babe from the Maybelline Color Sensational line, which these do have a smell to it. I know not everybody likes the smell of the Maybelline lipsticks. I don't mind it, um, but the, the Color Sensationals are they're probably my favorite lipstick formula that I can get at the drugstore. Right along with that buy two get one free uh, was NYX. So I purchased uh, quite a few of my favorite NYX matte liquid eyeliners, which is what I use pretty much every single day for my eyeliner. And that's what I have on my eyes today. So I kind of stocked up on those. And then lastly from Ulta here, I've got two of the NYX Perfect Filter eyeshadow palettes. I purchased two of them and I believe there are four in total. Um, one of them is a rosy burgundy palette that I haven't seen on the Ulta website or in, in store at the Ulta where I purchased these, but I saw it on the NYX website. <laughs> um, so there's four in total, but um, out of all of the eyeshadows that I've ever tried from NYX, this is my favorite formula. Um, I do like the NYX Ultimate palettes. Um, those were pretty nice, especially for the price, the amount of shadows that you got, and the pigmentation and blendability was pretty good. Um, but this is probably my favorite so far. So the first palette is 05 Marine Layer. I just thought that the color uh, layout of this one was pretty unique. There are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four matte shades, and the rest kind of have a sheen to or a sheen or a shimmer to them. But I thought that the layout was unique, and I think this is, yeah, this is the one that I've worn, and I enjoyed the look that came out of it. I have not worn the other one just yet, but the formula on these is pretty, you know, between the two palettes is um, very similar, if not, you know, exactly the same. So, there's a few, and then let's do a few down here. And I kind of, I want to get my my paws on that, uh, my fingers, my paws, my fingers on that uh, rose gold burgundy one in this same type of a formula. And the other palette is called Golden Hour 01. And this is just full of a bunch of warm shades. Um, I do kind of wish that there was one darker brown in here than just this one because you're going to get a pretty light neutral look out of it where you could get a little bit more depth had there been just like one deeper shade in here. But there's one, two, three. There's three mattes in here and the rest all are shimmery uh, showing it pretty true to color in the viewfinder there but I haven't worn this one yet but like I said the formula between both palettes are the same super pretty look at that peach though I'm like thinking I'm always thinking like, that would be a pretty highlighter well not on me but on a, a medium or deeper skin tone a couple of these bottom ones These are a dimethicone formula from NYX. Again, um, NYX has been hit or miss in the eyeshadow department for me. These are a hit. They're expensive too. Well, I mean, you get a lot of product and a lot of shades, but they're $20 if you were to buy them when they're not on sale. So I definitely wait till there was a, um, which they do a lot at Ulta, a buy one, get one 50% off. And that's what I did with these ones. It would be so much nicer if it was a buy one get one free, but <laughs> I'll take 50%. <laughs> and then lastly, and I really feel like I'm melting today. 
I'm, hopefully I'm not too sh shiny <laughs> when I go to edit this video and I'd be like oh man <laughs> I should have powdered or something but anyway um, I know Kiko isn't exactly like a drugstore brand but they have such good sales and when they have collections that are like a, a past collection that they want to be kind of get rid of they do really good sales this is the natural color highlighter in o2 iridescent champagne um again super pretty packaging it all it has a um pearlescent look to it it kind of looks white just in the viewfinder but it does have a pearl uh finish to it and that's what this guy looks like i wore this the other day and this does a get this here does have a drier stiffer texture but once you buff it into the skin it's very pretty and it's got a nice shine to it it almost feels like the texture of a baked uh, a baked powder so that one is O2 O2 iridescent champagne and it's light enough for fair skin tones and then the other one is O1 iridescent rose and this one is more pink with the purpley pink in the middle. Well, the outside is almost like a peachy pink, and then the inside is a pinky purple. Again, it has that same type of a texture. It's, it's like a drier baked type of texture, but once buffed into the skin, it's quite pretty. So that one is 01 Iridescent Rose. Right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.